This integral appears to fit the form of a certain trigonometric substitution. In particular, if you have an integral of the form a squared plus u squared with the square root, in this case, the substitution u equals a tangent of theta works out quite, quite well. So let's rewrite this as follows as 4x quantity squared plus 5 squared. And now we can see that u is equal to 4x and a is equal to 5. So our substitution will be 4x equals 5 tangent theta. Now at some point we're going to have to plug in our x here. So I'm going to go ahead and solve this for x. So x is equal to 5 over 4 tangent of theta. Now we'll compute dx. So dx is 5 over 4 secant squared of theta d theta. We're almost there. We have figured out x. We have figured out dx. The last thing to work with is this numerator here. So let's carefully write it down like this. So this is the square root of 4x squared plus 5 squared. And this is equal to the square root of, well, let's see, 4x is 5 tan theta. So we square the 5, we get 25. We square the tangent, we get tangent squared. And then we still have the 25 here. 5 squared is 25. Factor out the 25. So we get the square root of 25, the square root of tangent squared theta plus 1. This is 5. And then tangent squared theta plus 1 is secant squared theta. And so here we get 5 secant theta. Okay, now we are going to write everything in terms of theta. So starting with the numerator, we said that the numerator was 5 secant theta. So we have 5 secant theta. Then we have dx. We said dx was 5 fourths secant squared theta d theta. So parentheses 5 fourths secant squared theta d theta. In the denominator, we have x, which is right here, and it's being raised to the fourth power. So it's going to be 5 to the fourth over 4 to the fourth. Very messy stuff. And then tangent to the fourth of theta. Yikes. This looks really, really bad. I haven't done this yet. Let's see how it goes. Well, it looks like we lose a 5 and we lose a 4. And so we have here we have now 5 cubed over 4 cubed. So if we flip that because we're dividing, it's going to be 4 cubed over 5 cubed. Let's pull this 5 out. And we have the integral of secant cubed of theta over tangent the fourth of theta d theta. Here we can clean up this mess with the fives. So this is going to be equal to 4 cubed over 5 squared. And then we have the integral of, well, secant cubed over tangent uh, to the fourth. Uh, I don't see a nice way to do it, so I'm going to just resort to going back to sine and cosine. So secant is 1 over cosine. So this is 1 over cosine cubed. And tangent is sine over cosine, but we're dividing by tangent, so it's cosine over sine, right? We're multiplying by the reciprocal. So it's cosine to the fourth over sine to the fourth. Let's go over that again. Tangent is sine over cosine. We're dividing by sine over cosine, so we multiply by cosine over sine, but everything here is to the fourth power. All right, this ends up being, let's see, 4 cubed is 64, and 5 squared is 25. We lose three copies of cosine, so we're left with cosine theta over sine to the fourth theta d theta. So now we can make another substitution. We can let u equal sine of theta, and then du is equal to cosine theta d theta. 
So the, our integral becomes 64 over 25. And then we have simply du over u to the fourth. And so this is equal to 64 over 25, the integral of u to the negative fourth du. Very tough problem. I did not know it would be <laughs> this long. So this is 64 over 25. We add 1 here, so we get u to the negative 3 over negative 3. And we add our constant c. Multiplying 3 times 25, we get negative 64 over 75. And it's 1 over u cubed, but we said u was sine. So it's 1 over sine cubed theta plus c. Let's keep going. We know something about 1 over sine. It's cosecant. So this is negative 64 over 75 cosecant cubed of theta plus c. But we're not done. We have to go back and use our substitution. If you recall, we said that x is equal to... Oh no, our original sub, our, our first one, let's go back and look. The very first one we used, 4x equals 5 tan theta. That's the first one we used. So 4x, let's do this one, equals 5 tan theta. Tricky stuff. So the tangent of theta, we could have used what I was going to write, x equals 5 fourths tan theta, but this is a little bit easier to work with. So dividing by 5, we get 4x over 5, and using the power of so ka. Toa will invoke our magical triangle. So here is theta. So here it's oa. So it's opposite over adjacent. So that's 4x. And then here we have 5. And by the power of the Pythagorean theorem, we square the sides, the links of the sides, and that gives us 16x squared plus 25. So now let's go ahead and write our answer down. So this is equal to negative 64 over 75. Let's see, cosecant is 1 over sine, right? 1 over sine. So in this case, sine is so, here it's going to be ho. So cosecant is ho, so ho. So let's see, ho, so h, that's the h in ho. So that's the square root of 16x squared plus 25 over, and then we said it's ho, so opposite, so 4x. And all of this, this immense creature is being cubed, and we are still not done. <laughs> Let's keep going. This is equal to negative 64 over 75. Let's think of this square root as being raised to the 1 half power. So we can write this as 16x squared plus 25 to the 3 halves, right? 3 times 1 half is 3 halves. And then here, we cube the, the 4, so we get 64, and we cube the x. Let's not forget our beautiful plus c. And so this is equal to, at last, negative 1 over 75, 16x squared, plus 25 to the 3 halves, plus c. Super rush video. But you kind of have to, otherwise a problem like this ends up becoming a 20-minute video. So I hope that made some sense.